welcome back guys to another video and today i have some uh, very interesting news for you so the raspberry pi foundation uh, launched its uh, february 2016 edition of the raspbian os which is the official operating system for the raspberry pi and it comes with many great features one of which is super exciting and that is they have finally finally included the open source 3d uh, gpu driver in the official build so yes right now we do have an official open source 3d graphics driver for the video core 4 gpu inside the raspberry pi now a few things to uh, note before we get started on setting the driver up is that it works only on the raspberry pi 2 and no other model as of now because it needs a lot of memory and it has some uh, memory allocation issues that are still being worked out uh, also this is not enabled by default and you will need to enable it on your own and we'll get to it right now so first off you need to download the latest revision of the operate has been operating system uh, it's linked in the description below and the installing procedure is very straightforward use win 32 disk imager on windows or dd on uh, linux and mac os so once you're booted up and your operating system is ready what you want to do is go ahead and open that terminal window now once you have that terminal window open let me focus and let's see what we have to do now once we are at the terminal window we can type to activate the gpu driver we need to type sudo uh, raspi config right and press enter so we have the following options and in the following option we need to go to the ninth option that is advanced option and at the end we get to uh, an option called gl driver now this enables and disables the uh, experimental uh, open gl graphics driver so let's uh, press enter and see what happens uh, select enabled and it gets enabled by default now uh, let's check if there is a change in the uh, boot the, uh, the uh, boot config.txt uh, and I think we'll be able to see uh, probably something like okay so you can see we have our overlay enable so this is our dd overlay equal to vc4 dash kms dash v3d so this is what turns on the graphics driver so you need to have that setting uh, in the config.txt in short so the method i just showed you does exactly that so let's get out of here and reboot uh, and we will have our driver on so let's just see how well the official driver responds uh, so I think they have a GLX gear pre-installed oh, we'll check that out if it is okay it looks like it's not pre-installed so uh, let's just go ahead and install it so we need to install it using the mesa uh, utils uh, package so mesa dash utils And that will give us the command glx gears right so we are back and let's try glx gears so this is well the very first thing you can see of the interaction 
uh, of the X window system with the GPU driver. So this is a very uh, genuine uh, demonstration for the GPU driver. Uh, now let's go ahead and check out something a little bit more complicated, a little bit more practical. Alright guys, so let's uh, do some uh, real world tests. So non-synthetic and uh, something like uh, some light games that actually don't really work uh, at all without the graphics driver but actually work pretty well when the graphic driver is running. So the first thing we'll try is actually never ball. Alright, so this is round one. And as you can see the playback is very very smooth. Uh, there, there is no issue with the uh, graphics at all. It's working very well. Uh, and I will be uh, doing a few more uh, benchmarks. But this is about it for today. Although I have one more game that I am willing to test. So let's get out of uh, never ball and actually test out another old game and it's called extreme tux racer so it's like a penguin sliding down stuff so and let's resume so it also depends on what kind of game you are playing uh, there, there are some other games that actually work pretty well better than this do, does and uh, are actually more graphic intensive. So as you can see the game has not really been written uh, that efficiently and uh, keeping modern machines in mind so it might not really perform that well. So but anyway guys this was the uh, a short video on the recently launched official graphics GPU driver with the latest Raspberry OS release. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.